and looks like they're going to try and siege down Roussillon. Uh, best of luck with that. Uh, next question, actually. How long until we can get this institution? Oh, man, that's taking a while. So I think we're going to have to get the first technology with the institution penalty. Because that's only in three years, and I can't see us embracing the tech in that time. And we should probably also spend some admin. Although we're going to be coring some stuff, so maybe not just yet. So from the Pope... Can't vassalize you. Could take two provinces. And that would upset quite a few people. From the Pope, we want money. And we want you to cancel your treaty with Portugal and Castile so I can go against, uh, go after you again in the future. In fact, I'm not even going to take money. Truce until 61. Truce until 63. Yeah, I'm just going to make you do this. And in fact, the Pope's ready to give up already. I will accept that. Because I'm going to go after them separately. I don't want to do anything in this war because they are not the co-belligerent. And then from Ferrara... How much is this going to make Europe hate me? Quite a lot. Let, let's not do that. Let's vassalize them. Which is going to require quite a lot of war score. So maybe we do need to launch an offensive against Burgundy. Oh, we never got to fight the uh, Papal Navy. Whoops. Stick you in Almera. And group you together. What's the war goal, Ferrara? Burgundy is a long way away from peacing out. I want you two to stop marching together. I'm just taking attrition doing this. Uh, in fact, let's have you marching in behind the Burgundians. And this is why I really need to fortify Navarra. Let's let's get a fort on Navarra right now. And Almera also needs one. St. Lucia is done. So I guess we'll go for the Bahamas. We could send the Tuscans out here. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Let the colonies deal with all the uh, mixed cultures. Burgundy starts damn strong and never could bring... Never could play them myself, I think that's just too impatient. I've never actually played as Burgundy, because I always prefer playing as their low country minions. Uh, one of these days I really should, because I think Burgundy is a powerful nation, like their ideas are certainly good. They start with morale of armies, they get a huge number of mercenaries, which means they can probably raise as many troops to match France. Uh, the only thing is they need to have a really good trade set up, which basically requires them to integrate the low countries. If they lose those, then they're in trouble. And yeah, Burgundy would definitely be one of the few games where I think Influence might actually be worthwhile. But again, I t my problem with Influence is I don't think it's a weak idea group. It's just that you're going to be annexing those guys eventually anyway, at which point the Influence ideas are pointless. I, I don't like idea groups that only account for a short period of game time. 
It just feels inefficient to me. Unless you want to play with Vassal Swarm and just expressly do that, in which case, fair enough. I think in the Dev Clash, the Burgundy player did that and ended up reforming France's Burgundy. Yes, he did. I remember. Where's the Burgundian army? Oh, they're going down here. Oh, even better. You know what this is? Mountains. Oh, and you're... Well, <laughs> I was going to say you're exiled, but that's fine. You just go to Arezzo and then suddenly you're not exiled anymore. You do not, however, have a general. In fact, we only have one general. Oh boy, that's not great, is it? Now, here's the question. Do I want to recruit a general now? Or once the war is done? Now, that seems crazy. But when the war is done, we will have more... land tradition, which means we'll have better generals. And we do have a general, which is technically all we require. We just switch him around as necessary. Like, we can put Bacon Killer in charge of this army right now. Have you go and lift that. I should have let them retreat to Ferrara, actually. That was a mistake. Now I'm fighting them in the hills. And now we give Bacon Killer back to you. Oops. With my magical teleporting armies. Oh, except now you're going to be fighting against the Montferrat army. Without a general. Okay, I guess we need to recruit a general. <laughs> Decision made. So, this general is going to be... Time to go on a different page, I think. Lord Cucumber. Um, four, seven, eight points. Go up to 13. I'm going to hire one more. That's better. Although in this era, are we in fire or are we in shock? One more. That's better. Better balance. Six combat pips. Though both of those generals, frankly, are quite strong. The one that's not very strong is this one. Unfortunately, this again leaves me with two Lord Cucumbers. I really should just cycle through names and dismiss and be a bit more ruthless. Growth of cities attracts stuffs. Yes, I would like you to move to the new province capital thing. Wait, are you actually beating Montferrat? They are on a minus two and they have no general. We have one morale more than they do. We also have slightly more tactics. So yeah, we are actually beating their army handily. This is the difference having a general makes. Ah, oh, Burgundy moved away. Disappointed! St. Vincent's now doing tobacco, and we are out of development space. Let's do that. And we did indeed win. Hell yeah. Now, you... Need to march up here as quickly as possible, and you basically are just going to chase them through Spain. Let's put you in Parma so we can hold the entrance.
Yeah, they moved the aggressiveness reduction from influence to espionage. Which is a good change. I do like that change. La Mancha is dry land. We're going to have a river crossing, but that's it. And their army is notably better. Wow. This might actually be a stack wipe. It's so bad. Just. Alright, let's back off behind my walls. Back off. And let's bring Bacon Killer to you. You're going back down here, are you? Interesting. Because with a mountain there, I think I'd be okay. But that's only if we can fight them at the mountains. And we did force them to reset the siege, so I don't necessarily need to attack straight away. We can bring in reinforcements. And meanwhile, Naples is just being given free reign to siege down their stuff. Castile, Civil War, that's the second one. Castile's not having a good time here at all. Wow, minus 7% already. How many cannons you got here? Seven. Fourteenth, fifteenth. You actually arrive slightly earlier. Now we arrive on the fifteenth together. Great expectations. A political marriage is as much a union as a contract of mutual support. Um, I'm curious to see what this gives. I have a lot of admin power right now, so we will go ahead and accept that. Because that puts them in my debt as opposed to vice versa. Really? Oh, they ran. They were legitimately going to de uh, beat me there, but they ran away. Burgundy's armies are quite strong. I thought you were in the 500s the other night with Stellaris. Do you usually go that high with the views? No, that's because I got hosted by Shenre, who's a massive streamer. He's one of the biggest strategy streamers, like Shen, Arumba. Quill are the big ones, and he posted me. Like, the highest I've gone naturally off of my own back is 100. 50 to 60 is usually where I am. Well, between 40 and 60, I'd say. Uh, heir to the throne. So, we have a new heir, who should also be named. And you are to be named Mr. Oldboy. So hopefully you're good. 252. Two. That's nine points total. That is the minimum I usually accept. So, okay. Ah, and you took Wallace. Excellent. I'm going to tell Naples to go on and attack Franche Comte. My rival to Castile. Yeah, uh, yes. Huzzah! Sparrowhawk coming in with the Twitch Prime sub. Five months now. That's awesome. Speaking of Twitch stats, thank you so much for that. That is absolutely fantastic. Actually, speaking of Twitch stats, yeah, having the channel growing is awesome. I don't just mean that as like a throwaway comment. It is fantastic the channel is growing because we hit 4,400. But a more impressive stat, in my opinion, is the fact that we're now up to 87 subscribers. Like, paying subscribers, which is just like, whoa, okay. So we're not too far off of getting 100 for that. Which is really good. <laughs> Keeps the channel going, that's for sure. Hey, Buick! I named a character after you. Who was it? Admiral? Oh, was that in Stellaris? That might have been Stellaris. It was in Stellaris. And Jeremy, thank you very much for the bits. Appreciate that. Uh, 
In other words, don't forget to tell your friends how Mordred's streams are great and invite them to join us. Absolutely! Come join us. Come one, come, come all. How goes the war? It's going. We beat the Pope already, which is always um, satisfying. And Ferrara is still quite a long way away from wanting out. How is Burgundy doing? Oh, Burgundy's dropping pretty quickly. Particularly now that we're actually starting to siege some of their stuff down. And we saw one of their armies off. Uh, let's split you up again. And yes, I saw you down there. Don't think I didn't. Cheeky. So in fact, you go and defeat the Montferrat army. Trying to intercept me there. And hopefully you're trying to get back down to Granada. Because I'm totally okay with you doing that. Just waste your time, so go for it. Twirl can have a manufactory. Been playing a lot of Stellaris lately, finally starting to understand the game. Yeah, the new planet update has definitely added a lot of decision making to the system, which I like. I like the new planets, I do. Interesting. Can't actually get to the capital because it's protected by Auxerrois and Franche Comte. Huh. Okay. Meanwhile, technologies. I could invest in one, but I don't wish to. Oh, you know the other thing I should do? I should be spying on Burgundy so I can get some more siege ability against them. The new Aragon mission claims are so strong now. Yeah. As I've mentioned to a couple of other people, not a massive fan of the missions. But that's in general, that's not just Aragon. I like the missions like the Valencia one. I really like that, which like changes the situation for you as a player. But the ones that just give you more claims. They make the game too linear. I want to play my way. Actually, that's... You're really good at sieging. Can, can you not be? Level 2 siege leader siege. Uh, siege leader, that's why. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to have to send both my armies back south again. And I think I might even need to hire some mercenaries to meet you down there. Because I am out of manpower and that is starting to cost me. have bonuses to siege ability, do you? Nope. Don't have offensive either. Native Uprising, St. Vincent. Stop them. Burgundy is down to 38. And you're leaving. Why? Maybe because you've seen how well Naples is doing in that siege? Maybe because you saw me coming somehow, even though you definitely don't have eyes on me? Well, we should be able to beat the Rabant army out. There we are. Let's send you to Navarra. You to Vasca. Because they might just be going down to Malaga, which is fine. Just, I want to keep them busy. I don't necessarily want to fight them, I just want to keep them busy. Get to Labord quicker. Force them to fight me in the forest. 30th, 30th. Who goes there first? I started moving first. I'm legit not sure who's going to fight this. Burgundy may get a crossing penalty. Okay. Let's do a quick shift consolidate. And there it is. 
Tariffs onto coffee. I mean, it's coffee. It should be tariffed, even though I said I wasn't going to increase tariffs. When do you arrive? 6th of February, which is soon. Five, six. Now I outnumber you. You do have more morale. You do have more tactics because of that crazy discipline. But this should be buying Naples time to take that fort, hopefully. Brabant just arrived. I have a 4-3-3 commander. I have a 3-3 commander. Ooh, this is going to be close. Their armies... No, mine are broken first. Oh, man. Which way is this going to go? Nah, I'm pretty sure I've lost. Even though they're out of morale. I have one unit left on the... Damn it. Yeah, they won that one. That was close, though. Crikey. Hopefully you can take that fort before Burgundy gets back into it. How much manpower does Burgundy still have? 13,000. Yeah, and I'm down to minus 18,000. How are the rebels doing? 70%. We're okay. Burgundy's still at 32. Ugh. Oh, crikey. Rebels. An army career. With the growth of our professional army, new career opportunities abound for those with ability and ambition. The old nobles, however, still expect to be awarded the most valuable commissions out of tradition out of tradition, and the centuries during which the lineages have served the crown faithfully. So I can gain a bunch of army tradition, and the nobility gain loyalty, and the burkers lose some. Or we can gain professionalism and vice versa. I'm very happy to take 15 army tradition. That gets me up to 79. And I have a lot of stacked army tradition reduction. And it is now time to merge the infantry. And start adding in mercenaries. So you need six, you need four. Five. That's 11 mercs total. And we will meet there. Come on, take the fort. Yes! Um, right, now... I'm gonna say, come support me. Don't go attacking. Because I am a little bit concerned about those guys. Meanwhile, battle over there. Raging away. Which is more close than I had expected. Come on, they're out of morale. Don't tell me I'm going to lose this one as well. No, I didn't. Good. Start resieging that stuff. Except you're out of morale. Uh, out of manpower as well. Ah! I can finally convert Valencia and Huesca. Huesca is going to be challenging. So Aragon is going to go local missionary strength. I want to get rid of that Center of Reformation. Even though Spain's got their own. Eighty-three. That's doable. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did that wrong. We'll go there as well. That's only a minus seven. The Burgundians are really good at sieging. Like, annoyingly good. Did they change how missionaries work? Yes, they did. Um, so missionaries can now be put anywhere. You can missionary territories too. Um, but they cost money, and they cost a heck of a lot more than they used to. And that cost, I think, is based on development. One of the tooltips that's not actually working is how the cost is calculated. So I can't tell you exactly how those are done, but I think it's mostly done on development. So Valencia probably has more dev than, say, Tirana. And territories have a further modifier to make them even more expensive. Austria's doing well against the Turks. The Turks haven't exactly had a good game. They have been attacked by Poland-Lithuania, then attacked by me, then attacked by Venice, then attacked by Austria, 
all in complete succession. Like, they are probably at 20 war exhaustion. Because they were when they were fighting me two wars ago. They've had no breaks. Like, the Ottomans are in trouble. Need to play Stellaris, but I heard there's bugs now with the AI, so I need to wait for a good sale so I can actually pick up some DLC. Well, when you do decide to uh, pick up Stellaris, I would highly recommend and plead, please do this, that you go to the link that I have, which will give me a little bit of a kickback. So when you go to buy anything Paradox from any Paradox game, go to that link and I'll get a little percentage. And any games that you buy from Paradox from Paradox's store does have a Steam key, so it still works on Steam, no problems. And Paradox usually has a sale at the same time as Steam does, and sometimes for more. Why are Burgundy's army Space Marines right now? Because they have invested in... Their ruler is strict, which gives discipline. They have a national idea that gives discipline. And they... Have an advisor that gives discipline. While I just have the faith thing from Protestantism. So, you know what's ma amazing? Checking your bank account today to find an extra... Grand. That was not there yesterday. I need to find out when your... College loan was cancelled. The US Department of Treasury reimbursed the last 15 months back. I don't quite understand that, but I don't really know the US system. <laughs> 